Hey guys, so I am here, love, to do the read for Gemini. This is going to be for Gemini on house placement. So if the messages here are resonating, then guys want you to take them. All right, movies, cross watchers, you are welcome. Uh, let's get into the reading for you all, okay, Gemini? What messages? Hmm. Six of Wands and the King of Swords, y'all. First two cards out, okay. Messages for Gemini. Mm. 14. What is it about 14? Maybe the age 14 is significant to for you. And um, it, it's signifying somebody learning a truth. Okay. I do want to say that. Um, or something could be coming very apparent to you about someone. All right. So I don't know if the 14th is of any significance. With the June 14th, especially... Uh, um, Gemini, but the 14th, maybe this happened when you were 14, maybe this happened on the 14th, or maybe you have an association with the number 14, maybe that's your birthday, I don't know, um, yeah, but there's a realization that has taken place about someone, and there's a decision to no longer invest in whomever or whatever that is, I feel like you've made this realization possibly about an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be, six of pentacles, all right, yeah king of wands and the knight of wands so gemini there is in the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck to the three of swords so i feel like there's a truth that's discovered that is heartbreaking here okay now the thing about it is gemini um there was a belief that you all were on the same page or there was some equal give and take that was taking place between you all all right death this changes the way I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I really feel like you choose to walk away from this person. Um, four of swords in the four of pentacles, eight, eight, eight. Something's in the nine of wands. Something's very, very clear. Something is meant to happen. Whoever this is that you that you're having a realization about, an epiphany about, could be a Scorpio, doesn't have to be. Okay, also could involve a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, but it does not have to. All right, my loves. Um, but whatever this realization is, you can't unsee it. Whatever you see about someone, you can't unsee it. Um, I really get a sense of seeing someone's shadiness, that they're they're kind of cloudy. The truth, they it's something about the truth. They they lie. Let's put it that way. And I don't even want to say stretch the truth, but they're showing me dumbo ears. Although I understand that these are two butterflies, I see a big ass liar. <laughs> okay. So this person, I mean, I, I feel like you make they make poor decisions or there's something about this decision in regards to this person that's regretful for you in some sort of way. All right. Tell me more about death and the king of swords. This is the three of pentacles to the ten of cups. Hmm. Let me tell you something about this person that you don't like, Gemini. I feel like there's a realization that you're having about this person. This person enjoys living in the realm of working on some shit. Okay? This is somebody who's always working towards some shit. They, I wonder if they've even accomplished anything. Okay? And I don't care how much money they have. I want you to understand that this has nothing to do with it. Money, status, or any of that. This is somebody who's always like, oh, I'm working towards, I'm working on, or I, yeah, you know, I'm working on this, I'm working on that, I'm working towards. I get a sense of somebody that's doing a lot of work, but they're getting no fucking wear at all. Nowhere. Someone loves to say that they're working on something. They're under accomplished. They may tell you things that are impressive, Gemini. But I feel like you may notice that this person is always working on the things they're telling you about. Nothing's accomplished. Nothing's complete. Whoever this is. Okay. Uh, tell me more about the Eight of Cups and the, the Seven of Cups. It's too much confusion when it comes to this person. The, and, and, and also, Gemini, this person is a busybody, a possible workaholic, but definitely a busybody. Definitely a busybody. Yeah, I feel like by August, 
you your perspective has changed on this person. You may be choosing to walk away from whoever this is in this connection here because there's something about this person that's just a fucking liar. And I feel like they're always like, well, what do you mean? Well, what do you mean by that? So this is somebody who's paranoid. They seem very paranoid to me, Gemini. Yeah, look at this. The four of cups to the seven of pentacles. This is always somebody that's, oh, I wish I could. I got so much work to do. Oh, I wish I could. I... No, cut the bullshit out. This is someone who also may keep you waiting. This is also someone, this may also be someone who's constantly late. Okay, Gemini. What's this ace of swords and the three? Like the truth about this person is heartbreaking. Um, you see that there's there could be no equal give and take with this situation. The lovers, that's you. The strength card and the nine of wands. The ace of wands and the two of swords. Let me tell you something. Some of you may be depressed with this outcome, with this person. You may have felt a very divine connection towards this person. And what's about to blow your mind is all this person is, is a great experience. Because you're actually going to learn that this person is not the uh the end all to be all but yet just to stop on the way y'all because you got justice at the bottom of the deck baby and the eight of wands so that's still coming that's still coming but it's not until all of this comes about that you see the works of the enemy that you see like the devil's involved here like yeah the, the seven of swords and the tower it's meant to make you give up but don't it's meant to make you give up but don't all right loves this is where I'm leaving this off at. If the messages here resonate, I want you to give it a thumbs up. Gemini, like, share, and subscribe, guys. And until next time, bye-bye.